Hi everybody, my name's June and I'm participating in the Great Big Art Exhibition which is happening all around the United Kingdom. However, I really just like things that happen in Creef. That's where I live. Creef is a beautiful little town and just now it's covered in snow and it's the second lockdown in 2021. Suits us fine because it's too snowy on the roads to go anywhere anyway. Hooray! I've just been having a cup of tea and thinking, what will I make with the clay that I've got to be part of this great art exhibition? Now, I thought I might make Nessie. When you, if you want to participate like me, then you need to go down to the Blue Noun in Creef. That's beside where the sculpture of the Highland Cows is. And the Blue Noun has some balls of clay. It also has some instructions on how to make a Scotty dog, which is my favourite, actually. And um, a penguin, because of the snow. Seems quite sensible to me. <laughs> Now, the person that's given us all this clay is Mocha Pottery. They're right here in Creef as well. So, it comes like that. When you get it at home, I've put plastic on top of my table in case it makes the table a bit of a mess. But it's easily washed off, to be honest. Empty your clay out. Oh, lovely. And you should have a lovely ball of clay like this. We are going to do what people usually do with clay, which is roll it out. First thing you have to do with clay is bang it a couple of times. Oh, lovely. And that gets rid of all the air bubbles so that it's easier to work. Anyway, I quite enjoy banging it. Especially as I'm going to make the biggest sausage roll in the world out of this bit of clay. To make a sausage from clay, you have to use your hands and you roll back and forth, back and forth. Tra la 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 la. la. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, I don't know if you can guess why we're making it into a sausage shape. And we're making Nessie. Mm -hmm. Nessie is sort of like a big, long sea dinosaur. People think she's a monster, but she's she's actually very friendly. And my idea of Nessie is that she wears a hat. So I'm going to make a hat for her as well. A Scottish hat. A berry. She can be Black Watch Nessie. <laughs> oh, you can see it coming. It's getting a bit longer now. I'm going to cut this into some different pieces. Oh, oh. It takes quite a long time to roll out. And turn an amaze ball into an amaze sausage. What is coming? I suppose, I suppose this is actually the most enjoyable bit. Because I might get things wrong with the next bits. I hope not. Now, if your sausage is starting to feel a bit dry, <laughs> then you can spray it with water. <laughs> I've got some water in just an old cleaning bottle. So I quite enjoy spraying things. Now it's rolling around nice and easily, sort of slipping around really on the wet plastic sheet. Plastic is better than paper because sometimes clay sticks to paper and that's very annoying because then you have to peel all the paper off and mm, it's too annoying. I 
think that's long enough. I'm getting fed up with this now. So I've got to cut it in two. Let me see. What can I use for cutting? Aha! I've got a knife here. It's just from the kitchen. It's a pretty easy knife. I've also brought a fork. <laughs> mm, yum, yum, yum. But the fork is for making patterns. So I don't use this. I'm going to cut this sausage nessie into different pieces. I'm going to have a piece for her head. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. And two pieces for her body. One. Two. And one piece for her tail, which is about the same size again, but a little piece left over, and that will be for her hat. <laughs> maybe her eyes, maybe a tongue. I don't know how Nessie ate. Snakes have tongues though. I don't know about sea monsters. Now I think I'll make the tail first. We've just got a little piece of the sausage. Now we've got to make this stand up. So you bang it. Can you see that okay? Put it here. Bang it on your table bit so that it stands up. Clay's very good at that. And then just shape it so that it's the end of the tail. And sort of I suppose it just goes thinner and thinner. So you just squish it and squish it and squish it until it starts to be a bit thinner. You can make it longer by just pulling up. I suppose it's like a pyramid or something. And there is one tail. <laughs> now we've got to do the two body parts. I think they should be easy. So I've got one, two pieces. And they're going to go in a sort of upside down U shape. And one end has to, ha has to stick to the table. And then you turn it over and the other end has got to stick to the other bit of the table. So I think we're going to have to roll them out a little bit longer. Just so there's enough to turn. Very annoying if, there's a bit, if they didn't turn. So now we've got... One longer shaped sausage. And better do the same with the other one. Do 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 I suppose you could make as many of these bits as you like. Just make Nessie thinner and thinner. I'm making a quite a fat little Nessie. So you've got your sausage, quite a fat sausage, and you plonk it down on the table and then you Turn it around, hold on to the end, and plonk the other side down. Do you see that? <laughs> now, when the two ends are on the table, you can sort of just shape it whatever way you like, just to make it stay. I've got to do that again for the next bit. Should be rolled out enough, I think. Just move the bit that's going to be the head for a moment. Plonk it on the table and then turn clear around. And you've got two upside down oz. Oh, oh. Or maybe mm, mm. So I'll just shape them a little bit so they stay. Probably be quite good to have a piece of card to put them on. 
Now, unless you're going to get these fired, I think Mocha Pottery have offered to actually fire the clay. That means make it hard like an ornament. If, you, if you're not going to bother getting them fired, remember you can paint them, let them dry out a little bit and paint them as whatever colours you like. Right, I've got my last bit. Now this is going to be Nessie's head. So, do you remember the tail just stood up in two bits that go like that? Nessie's head is at the other side of the tail. And she doesn't have two tails. She has one tail in the head, so you just bend the head over a bit so that the last bit is like that. Now, you could maybe shape shape the front of it so that so that Nessie's got a little bit of a lovely face. Oh, sorry, Nessie. Better show you. Oh, stick it to the table. A sort of a round upside down O. Do you remember a little bit? Well, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to tear a bit off and roll that in my hand round and round and round and round and round and round, and it's going to be like a pom pom on the top of Nessie's berry. This is the other bit. It's quite big. I'm going to roll that into a big circle as well. Round and round and round and round and round. So it's like a ball. Put it on a table. Plonk. Oh, excuse me, Nessie. I'll just move you. If you don't mind swimming over there for a moment. You've got your ball. Plonk it on the table and squash it down. Ha ha. You see, it's quite thick. It's quite good to be thick because that means no bits will break. Now, I'm going to spray this berry with a bit of water. And I'm going to spray the pretend pom-pom with another bit of water. Oops. And with my fork, do you remember the fork? I'm going to do just a little scrip scrap on top of the berry, like that. And if I can, I'll try and do a little bit of scratching into the, into the little, into the little ball. And that's so that the two bits can stick together. You know, there's like those scratches and those scratches, and then they, they just melt well together. And that stops stops things from falling off. <laughs> if you have your your kitchen knife, you can. So there's there's there they are on it. It's not falling off, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure of it. So I'm just going to make sure and weld the pom pom to the hat by pushing them together. I'm using my knife. You might have proper clay knife at home. I don't know. But a kitchen knife is quite good. Now I'm going to do the same because, oh, because Nessie needs a hat. I'll just, I'll just, can you see that there? It's behind my black. <laughs> but it won't stay on properly unless you put a little bit of water, a little bit of water and a wee scrape here and a wee scrape here. You put the two scrapey bits together and then you can sort of weld 
weld it together so that it's never going to fall off. And Mocha Pottery says that they will fire everything, make them hard and lovely to be like ornaments. It's up to you. If you want to get them fired, then just do patterns in them with with your fork. But if you can't, if you're not going to get it fired, you can just paint it, just with acrylic paints. They'll be fine. I think. Here's Nessie, his hat. I'm going to make. I'm going to make his hat tartan by doing a pattern with the fork all around. And then crisscrossing it. Because that's what tartan does. Oops. Don't know if you can see that. Now you can make patterns all over Nessie's body if you want to. You can use a fork or anything that you can find. I've got a pencil and so with the pencil I'm going to draw Nessie's face on. I'm going to do two eyes just by making a hole on one side. and a hole on the other side. So Nessie's got two eyes now. Don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to draw sort of nose that's a bit like a, a snake's nose, I suppose. Or maybe a dinosaur nose. <laughs> maybe put two wee Holes. <laughs> can you see them? <laughs> uh, you can draw patterns all over just with the pencil. Especially, you know, scales go, scales go like that. All the U shapes. You can do that all over if you want. I don't know. Can you see that? Okay. Or you could just leave them. You can do whatever you like. I don't mind. So we'll just put Nessie is going to just swim around. It's maybe in Nessie is maybe swimming along St. Fillin's. Up at Loch Erne, checking out the ducks. Well, I hope you have a good time and some fun and manage to put an animal in your window for the great art exhibition, Strathairn. <laughs> Speak to you soon. June. Bye.